Hello everyone. I have a tiny little um, Dollar Tree haul that I wanted to show you. Um, I've had to go Dollar Tree several times for mom in the last couple of weeks trying to find, you know, baskets to put on shelves and, and things to redo her new apartment. And uh, I went after some of these little baskets and I wanted to show you they have this little nice it's a little square basket nothing fancy um but it, it's in the same color as my um studio baskets so I was like yay uh I got a couple for mom and a couple for me I don't know exactly what I'm going to use them for but I was in there they had them in this color so I went ahead and got them because you know can't always get things and then I was in the new school supply aisle because they have a lot of organizational things and they had these and I bought all the turquoise and all the purple ones I could get um, I will probably be going to the other Dollar Tree to look for them these are magnetic let's see if I have anything that's gonna hold them maybe not not with these scissors but um, I have I have other steel things that will hold them. They're magnetic um, little cans. Now they have these back in the office section, and there's two of them in a package, but they're smaller and they're pastel. They're not these really pretty turquoise and purple. So I bought all of the turquoise and purple ones I can had. <clears throat> and then I don't know if y'all remember in the haul that I did after our trip, I bought a CD rack that um, spins and I have installed it on my table right there and I have been putting things in it. Well, it has these wooden places where Jeff is going to put a steel piece so that I can attach these to the side of it and put stuff in them. Um, now they're pretty deep. They won't hold very many things, but they will hold lots of little pieces. And I thought I might even put some of my ephemera in them because I can put quite a few on that rack. So I'll be looking for some more of the turquoise and purple ones just because. But I did manage to get 10 of the turquoise and purple ones. I had never seen them before. I had seen the little ones, but I had never seen the big ones. Um, then I found a few more of these things that uh, they're a little different. And um, I'm collecting things for Mermaid Journal. So there was the mermaids, a star, and I love seahorses, always have. But uh, these are the colored ones instead of the just the the cardboard colored ones. Um, these are painted. Doesn't mean that you can't paint them. Doesn't mean you can't put uh, embossing powder on them to make them more fun. But they had these little mermaids and ocean stuff. And then they had these really pretty shells, which I really liked. And for some reason, these said um, 60s vibe to me. And I... I don't know. They were just fun, so I picked them up. Um, there was there was some other stuff I did not get. Um, what was it? There was a lighthouse. I can't remember, but there was... I'm pretty sure there was some more ocean ones that they just didn't intrigue me that much, so I didn't get them. Um, then, I had never seen this one. This one says Explore. And it looks like it's a wood grain more so than some of the others. And um, I thought it would be fun on a travel journal. And since I make a bunch of those all the time, I thought that would be fun. Um, I might even put one. I still haven't done my front cover, I don't think, for my um, postcard book. So maybe I'll put, put one of those on my postcard book. And as I said, this is, a, this is just a tiny haul because... You know, um, I don't need anything, so I haven't been buying a lot of stuff. This is Thalo Blue, 
and Lisa mentioned it. She picked one up, and it's a blue that I do not have. And now we got a bunch of these a couple years ago that are shaped like this. Well, these are four ounce ones, and they were a dollar, but these are a dollar and a quarter, but they're actually six ounce ones. So um, these. I'm only getting the ones that I, you know, that are new colors. Um, but I did get this one. And that's in the regular art department. But then, in the fall stuff, uh, which is kind of, it was kind of odd. You know how um, Joann's and Michael's have paint that's based on holidays? Well... Dollar Tree does now, too. These were in the fall section. They were a specific box that was brought in for fall. So you're going to have to look for them soon because I don't know that they'll stay on the shelf. I imagine after the fall stuff goes away that they will um, put them on this regular sh paint shelf, but I don't think they'll have the same colors, just like um, Joann's and whatnot. They, they get rid of those color those packages. These weren't packaged together. They were all in the same box. <coughs> but they're really fun colors. This one is called Heather Green. And it's kind of an olivey green. This one is called Chestnut. It's a really fun, um, I don't know, brown, red brown kind of color. This one looks like mustard, but it's called Pumpkin. And you see, they all have a fall name, too. Goldenrod. This one's called Slate Blue, and it's gorgeous. And this one's called Eggnog, and they don't have a cream. They haven't had a cream before. So I did go ahead and get all of these just because they were such pretty colors. And I wanted to show you that, that you need to start looking in their um, holiday and fall collections of... Uh, decorations and craft stuff because they're coming out with paint colors that are tuned into that. As I said, this was a really tiny little haul, but I wanted to show you these because if I didn't show you these right away, then you might not look for them. And I really wanted you to be able to look for these fall things. So have a wonderful afternoon. Now go have fun and make some art. Bye-bye.